Today we'll be doing the last problem in Array 3, Count Clumps. Now, in this problem, we define a clump as a group of two or more adjacent numbers that are the same number inside an array. Now, for example, inside this first example array, there's a clump right here, 2, 2, and a clump right here, 4, 4. Now, since we're returning the number of clumps, the answer is 2. Let's look at this bottom example here. The reason the answer is 1 is because this entire thing is one clump because a clump is a series of two or more adjacent elements of the same value. So, looking at this problem, as long as we use a for loop to go through the array, checking two elements at a time to see whether or not those two elements constitute a clump, that shouldn't be too difficult. Now the tricky part comes when deciding whether or not you need whether or not you can distinguish when the clump ends. So we'll start this problem off by creating an integer value called clumps and setting it equal to zero. This clumps variable will keep track of the number of clumps inside our array. Now we'll also create a Boolean value and we'll call it is clump. And we'll initially set it equal to false. This Boolean value will help us determine whether or not we can whether or not we're looking at the end of one clump. Now from here we'll create a for loop to run through the array. Now as you see here, the upper limit for i is less than length minus one. And this makes sense because as we go through the array nums inside this for loop here, we'll be checking nums at i and nums at i plus one. So we'll be checking two elements at once. That Therefore, we have the nums.length minus one here to make sure that our index we're checking does not go out of bounds. So from here, we need to check if we have a clump. If we do have a clump, we need to check if the number we're currently checking at index i is not equal to the next number at i plus 1. Because if that's the case, that means that we no longer have a clump. So we set clump is clump equal to false. Now since we only are activating one statement if this if statement turns true i'll i will take the brackets out of the if statement just so it looks nicer now from here we'll end this if statement here so we'll also add an else component now inside this else if we're checking if the nums at i is equal to the nums at i plus 1. If it is, that constitutes a clump. So is clump equals true. And now, that also means that we have a clump. So we add 1 to clumps. Now from here, we just return the number of clumps. And that is the end of your journey in Array 3. Thank you.